So the question is, uh, if we have anything new about how stress uh, contributes to psoriasis. Um, we actually do. Uh, unfortunately for many diseases, including psoriasis, stress was kind of delegated to the norm of psychology because we didn't have any objective ways of measuring it. So some years back, we showed that the first hormone that is released under stress, and we thought it was released only in the brain, which is abbreviated CRH for corticotropin releasing hormone, uh, is released actually from sensory nerve endings right on the skin. So the, knowing the TNF or tumor necrosis factor is important in psoriasis, and of course there are a couple of drugs that neutralize TNF and they're fairly good in treating psoriasis, we were more interested in where TNF is coming from and potentially blocking it rather than blocking it after it's uh, come out, by which time the symptoms have already started. And basically we thought if we can block the mast cells from releasing tumor necrosis factor, and if we can block the keratinocytes for responding to tumor necrosis factor, we would be one or two steps ahead of the game, so to speak. And we were looking at a number of natural molecules that might be able to block this, and we showed that from the family of molecules called flavonoids that are very plentiful in all kinds of plants, green plants, uh, onions, apples, etc., one called luteolin, which we extract from chamomile, the tea-like chamomile, uh, was very potent in blocking both the keratinocytes and the mast cells from releasing tumor necrosis factor. Uh, but well, I'm, I'm very excited because the first time in in, uh, in my career, you know, in medicine, that we might have something that we can use prophylactically rather than after the fact. And that's even more exciting for me because uh, psoriatic psoriasis doesn't start as arthritis. It starts as psoriasis and then it builds on. So we might be able if we eventually get it also uh, orally or some other way to block the psoriasis from potentially leading to psoriatic arthritis, uh, which again will be preventive.